In this video, we present two applications implemented with our system, Marion. The first application, Virtual Cell, can be used to create animated sequences based on our illustrative visualization of the cell data. The application displays the cell together with a user interface, where the visualization parameters can be changed. For instance, the opacities of individual organelle systems can be modified. Here, the user zooms in on a mitochondria, which are displayed in blue color. Then, she applies visual effects to enhance the depth perception of the scene. She applies the volumetric fog effect, the depth of field, and the ambient occlusion. Once the user is happy with the settings, she can store them into a so-called preset. All the saved presets are displayed in a drop-down list on the bottom of the editor window. Then, the user can continue creating other presets. Here, a preset showing the entire cell is being created. Besides the free rotation camera, the user can also select one of pre-made camera presets. These might implement different navigation mechanisms or they can be animated in a non-interactive way. When the user is happy with the parameter settings, she saves them into a new preset. Each preset can be assigned a different camera. Afterwards, the presets can be selected from the drop-down list. The values of the editor are automatically interpolated through an easing curve, so that the selected preset is shown. It is also possible to script the timing of the, the preset changes within the Marion framework. Together with an ability to create custom camera presets, the application can be used to create illustrative animations showing the human cell data. The second application we implemented within our Marion system is a remote rendering server. It listens for connections from clients, which we implemented in JavaScript. The client allows the user to rotate the cell, zoom in and out, and turn on and off individual organelle systems. All the rendering is done on the server, and the rendered images are transferred to the client over the internet via web sockets. Therefore, the client can be executed on a device without a powerful GPU. Additionally, the client allows the user to control some of the advanced parameters. Here, the user changes the fuzziness of the mitochondria. The fuzzy representation is the raw data set as measured by the microscope displayed with volume rendering. The surface representation rendered with metaballs is the result of the segmentation algorithm.